if a worker completes a task in 18 days, how long will it take for three workers to complete the same task? How about robots? However, there is a difference between the famous robots in the movies and the robots which serve us today in real life. We owe the word robot to Czech writer Karl Čapek, who introduced the word when he wrote his play Rossum's Universal Robots in 1920. Some dictionaries define robot as a device that can perform various activities to complete a specific task. When we look around, we can see many robots that fit this definition, such as our dishwashers, vacuum cleaners, dryers, and food processors. Robots perform a myriad of tasks in our lives directly or indirectly. They are responsible for heavy and difficult tasks in many factories. In fact, many of the tasks in production and manufacturing are now carried out by these machines. In the coming years, numbers of robots is expected to increase, along with the amount of tasks they are used for. During the Industrial Revolution, production based on human and animal power was replaced with a production model based on machines. In this era, machines were facilitating work, but were also produced and controlled by humans. Now this model is changing. A new system has arrived, one in which robots control every level of the chain of production and humans are excluded. Will robots take our jobs? The question has already been answered. The new question is, when will robots take our jobs? According to a study conducted in Oxford University, 35% of the jobs in United Kingdom could be mechanized within 20 years. Foxconn, the company which produces electronic devices, like Apple's iPhone, aims to replace 30% of its workers with machines in five years. This number is humbled when compared with other factories. Robots already surround us. The presence of humans in production and manufacturing is decreasing every day, replacing human workers with machines, could increase unemployment. So what will happen? What will the unemployed do? Actually the answer to this question could be rather simple. After all, similar situations have happened throughout history. The replacement of horses with steam and later motorized vehicles greatly impacted the ecosystem of transportation, damaging the interests of those who earned a living from horse-drawn transportation. But in time, workers adapted moving to different work fields. Work by research firm Gartner makes similar predictions. In 2023, 1.8 million jobs are predicted to be lost to artificial intelligence, while at the same time 2.3 million new jobs will be created. So the answer to the question, when will robots take our jobs? is slowly appearing. Jobs in some fields will be taken over by robots sooner than in others. However robots are not eliminating humans, but some jobs and professions will lose out to changes in technology. According to Stephen Hawking, artificial intelligence will affect middle-class professions the most. But what are those professions? Autonomous systems and robots have already invaded fields like, call centers, postal services, publishing, travel agencies, insurance, accounting, and office administration. Robots are also doing more of the work in multiple fields, from economics to art, from defense industry to transportation. Although it often seems like robots have invaded every aspect of our lives, there are areas which they are not well suited. These tend to be jobs that require empathy, critical thinking, and strategy. Humans still outperform robots in creative fields and in some fields that requires complex physical skills. There are many areas in our lives in which we accept robots with open arms, for example, Robot-assisted microsurgery, can allow surgeons to perform more delicate procedures requiring precisely calibrated tools. While robots will force some of us into unemployment, they will also help create new professions. According to research, fast-developing robot technology will create 21 new fields in the next 10 years. Artificial intelligence experts will be some of the first in line for these new professions. So, what professions will be created thanks to robotics? They are likely to include many that don't yet exist. For example, genetic profile manager, personal memory manager, digital tailor, AI-assisted health technician. These job titles which sound so futuristic today, might be the profession for you tomorrow. Increasing use of robots is a sign of a new era, like getting off the horse and into the car. Robots will take some of our jobs, but developing technologies will create new ones for us. Humankind and robots will go hand in hand into the future.